The London Assembly had been forced to adjourn this afternoon after Sadiq Khan was heckled and an audience member threw an object from the public gallery. GB News understands the item was a letter for Sadiq Khan thrown by a member of the audience and this is the moment of the interruption. Can you, Hold on, please. Jack, can we stop, please? Someone just throw something at me. Could we a, have a security me. guard to... Don't touch, don't touch that. Don't Could we get a security it. guard in here to deal with move this? It, please. That's it. We're going to adjourn for five minutes. Well, moments of confusion there at the London Assembly. Tell us To tell us more is GB News digital political editor Millie Cook. And uh, Millie, uh, what, what uh, inspired this protest? Hi, Tom. We're not 100% sure what the letter contained, um, but I'm told by Conservative sources that it was a disgruntled voter who was writing in to Sadiq Khan. We haven't seen the letter, um, but I am told it was to Sadiq Khan and he was an annoyed voter. City Hall won't comment on the letter. Um, I emailed them about it. They wouldn't respond, but they directed me towards the Met Police, who are also yet to respond. Um, the voter, he effectively he was a London voter, apparently. He walked up to the glass and he yelled, Sadiq Khan, please could you answer the question before throwing the letter into the kind of glass protected area where the London Assembly members were sat. And what was the security like at the time? Were, were, was security very quick to react? I, I'm not sure they were because the letter landed and an Assembly member had to interject and say, someone's just thrown something at me. So it wasn't sort of an immediate response from security. And then the chair had to demand that security come in to remove the item because they weren't 100% sure what it was yet. And also then the protester was then removed only after someone else had sort of interrupted. It's interesting that the whole session was adjourned. Obviously, mayor's question time isn't always the most feisty of occasions. Uh, does this represent anything wider when it comes to London politics? Of course, the mayoral election is uh, screeching up to us. I think it does, you know, in recent weeks we've seen a lot more heated events at things, especially things involving Sadiq Khan, mainly surrounding Eula. So just last week we saw People's Question Time, which was the chair had to almost stop the event. He threatened to kick out all the audience because there was so much heckling and so much shouting. Most of it was around anger towards Eula. At one point, the entire audience, or at least a significant proportion of it, were yelling, get Khan out. And I think it was sort of it gathered momentum as people got more lively and the event went on. Um, but a lot of it was surrounding anger about the expansion of ULEZ across London. Have we heard anything from Sadiq Khan since this incident? Has he given any public comment about it, Millie? No, I don't think he has. And when I went to City Hall for comment, we haven't actually heard from them yet. Um, they just said, we won't comment and we're, we're passing it on to the Met Police. Well, the Metropolitan Police looking at it. No comment from Sadiq Khan. Uh, I wonder, has the Conservative side of the London Assembly, the second largest party there, made any comments? Well, I was told that by Conservative sources, so in Susan Hall's team, that there were, that they think the letter was a disgruntled voter. We saw a big back and forth throughout the event between Susan and Sadiq on lots of issues. Susan was sort of challenging Sadiq on his record as mayor, mainly about ULEZ and also increasing crime stats. We saw Sadiq defend his record in government from challenges by Susan. He was sort of saying that ULEZ is to protect London as clean air. If they've got clean water, they should have clean air. And that he's put in place lots of policies to sort of mitigate the financial burden on lower income families and small businesses. Um, but Susan was repeatedly challenging the mayor on this. And this, this sort of incident, it, it's pretty unusual, isn't it? We don't hear about this very often. Do you mean people sort of throwing letters into the London yeah. Assembly? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of a, it's quite, it was almost a sort of peaceful form of protest because he didn't, he said, please, could you be quiet? Sadiq, please, could you answer the question, Sadiq Khan? And he threw the letter in. But it's, it's an odd way of protesting because it sort of suggests that he hasn't had his queries responded by the mayor because you'd think normally you would just post a letter or send an email, but instead he felt the need to enter the assembly and throw it in.
It re really reminds me of a, a, of a Fathers for Justice protest against Tony Blair uh, in the, in the mid-2000s when they threw uh, purple smoke canisters down from the public gallery in the Commons uh, into... And, and the House of Commons was, was cleared. It was very dramatic. But, of course, these things, uh, that was non-toxic, non-dangerous. But we heard uh, there in the London Assembly them saying not to touch that letter. It could have been very dangerous. It could have been, of course, poisonous. Um, it, it's uh, no wonder, I suppose that the Assembly was adjourned. Uh, Millie Cook, thank you so much for bringing us the very latest there uh, as we've seen some uh, scenes of chaos there uh, in the London Assembly.